Hey, what's up, YouTube? Mario here from Little Ladies Up Against Barryaholic and Too Legit to Crit in G2 Siege. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go straight into this video. I go in with my Mirne, Tion, and Lucian. This is gonna be post commentary because I didn't really have time to record it live, and I want to make sure to get all my attacks in. So let's see if we can Lucian this. So hopefully we, okay, we thankfully don't get outsped by the Dark Cannon Girl. Can we? One shot everything. We one shot everything. Theo survives because of the endure, and we kill him with Tion. First win on to the next battle. All right, so we're gonna go on to this next battle. There is a Triana, Theo, and an Iris. I'm gonna go in it into it with a Fengyan, Aaliyah, and a Perna. So hopefully nothing crazy happens. Not a lot of stuns come out. Okay, we get stripped. We're gonna go ahead and use skill 3 so we can tank that Theo. Theo's not gonna be really doing much unless he defense breaks us. We got a high YouTube from Wario right there. Alright, so once we get rid of this Triana, it should be okay to maybe auto this. I'm not sure if I went ahead and autoed it. So I might be posting a lot of post commentary soon. I'm going to be starting school and I'm also working right now. So I'm not going to have that much time to record, especially with that 12 hour period of siege. I'm going to want to make sure to get all my attacks in. All right. So yeah, I actually autoed this. I don't know if I autoed it the whole way. I wanted to make sure to get rid of the iris and then we should be good. 3v1 up against Theo. We should be okay. He's not gonna be doing anything. He might kill the Perna, but he definitely won't do anything to the Fingen. Nice strip from the Perna, and we just need a little tap, but there you go. Alright, on to the next battle. We have a Dominic, my favorite right there, Ophelia, and a Dark Occult Girl. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in my Odin, Draco, and Tessa. Alright, so the idea here is to just get rid of that Dominic. Once the Dominic is down, there shouldn't really be a threat for this team, except that annoying Ophelia. <laughs> Luckily, that Dominic is really squishy. Maybe it didn't have runes. The Tessa just melted it, and our Odin melted the Dark Occult Girl. It's a 3v1. Josephine is just gonna get tortured pounded right here Ophelia sorry accidentally said Josephine because I will be working on fusion for Josephine pretty soon I have a fusion video coming out probably after this one fusing panda food for my third thing and finished off the Ophelia onto the next battle we have a Dominic Riley and a Theo I'm gonna go ahead and bring in this copycat team I'm bringing in Savannah, Tiana, and Chanpunk. So we're going to go ahead and copy a few guildies this siege. I'm going to go ahead and copy Hagu's team for this one. I'm going to show the runes really quickly. Go ahead and pause it. I know I went by really fast. I forgot to show the runes. Alright, so I guess the idea is you strip with Tiana, you push everything back and reset with a Chanpunk, and then you control everything and do damage with that Savannah. All right, let's see how much our Tiana does. 22K on that Riley, really nice. Nice procs. And we get rid of that Dominic with the Savannah, 3v1. Looks like a GG. Nice team, by the way, Hagu. All right, so we're coming into this Nana, Savannah, and Nora. We're gonna go ahead and copy Hagu's team again. Here are my Juno runes my windy runes and my camilla runes so this is actually a really solid counter for this because juno will just absorb all that cc and cleanse and heal do damage windy's not gonna get defense broken he's gonna be giving that attack i mean that crit rate buff with that speed buff and camilla's just gonna tank everything so it is a really solid team. You could probably auto this and I, I should have tried autoing it. 
I went ahead and sped this up two times because it just takes a, a while, but it's a very solid counter for this. So if you're struggling to find a counter and you happen to have these three mons, I would definitely recommend using this one against this. I would have probably Gally, Tiana, and Poseidon this, but I already used the Tiana for the other one. So I went ahead and just copied this one too. Nice offense, Hagu. So here, I just wanted to show Hagu that this video is dedicated to him, even though he doesn't believe it. He said it's cringe, by the way. Okay, so here we're going into this Sierra, Orion, and Perno with a Ragdoll, Nana, and Riley. I think this is probably like my favorite team to use against this. Like, it's it's a very fun team. It can get a little sketchy, but just using that Torrent is so, so nice. Perno progging like crazy, but it's okay. She's giving us the attack bar. We don't kill it with our ragdoll but we bring it really low looks like it's getting a little sketchy here i went ahead and just used our skill three so i could cleanse them all cleanse those debuffs off a bit i don't know if that was the right play but thankfully i really survives it manages to use skill four and we should be okay Riley will most likely die to that bomb, but we get another stack by killing that Orion, so it's alright. It's trade off right there. Heal up a little bit. Nice proc, and we use our skill 3. With our Nana having two stacks, looks like we're okay, especially with that third stack, and it's a GG right here. So I might be tweaking my ragdoll a little bit just so he could do more damage. I'm going to go ahead and probably see what else I can do to him. I know he's lacking on the artifacts, so I'm probably going to be farming artifacts. Now that my fusion is all done, fusion takes so long to do. It's, it's a lot of resources, a lot of time dedicated just to fusing. On to the next battle. So we have a Ayunu, Bigger, and a Lume. I'm gonna go ahead and copy again. I think I copied Shoots offense for this, which is the Malite, Bigger, and the Lulu. And I think Shoots actually copied this from Wario. So shout out to both of them. So I think this is actually a pretty safe team against this. A solid counter. The only thing is if that Lume strips everything followed by that defense break of that vigor and then that ayunu uses its second skill followed by a proc then yeah you're pretty sure done luckily that didn't happen to us so it's just a matter of making sure that we can provoke everything make them focus the mad light and we should be all right Again, you want to focus down the vigor as soon as he's gone. There won't be heals. There won't be that. There won't be that anti crit. So you'll be doing more damage to them. Not that there's that much damage coming from out from my offense, but you'll be doing a little bit more damage, and you'll most likely be landing those defense breaks with the vigor. All right, so that's where it gets sketchy right there. We almost get one shot by that. Ayumi. So. You have to be careful with that Ayunu on the defense break. It does a lot of damage. I'm surprised my Lulu actually survived that. I think my Lulu has like minus 17% win. So maybe that's why I survived. But yeah, 3v1 and it is another GG. So we're at 7. Let's go for the 8th battle. We're gonna go ahead and copy Mochi for this one. We're gonna go in with a Carcano, Lulu, and a Roid. Check out my Roid in this gameplay. I was not expecting him to do that much damage. I don't know if that's just how much damage he normally does, but I am now focusing on skilling up my Roid. Pay attention to how much damage he does on a defense break. He does a pretty good amount of damage. Alright, so luckily nothing crazy happening. We get a revenge by the Carcano. Nice. We're bringing down that Lume very low. And we don't finish her off with, with our Roid, but we get her very low. 
let's see we finish it off with our carcano and now it is a 3v2 okay so we're gonna be focusing this vigor now don't want to look look how much damage it does 12k and then another 11k and the little bonus damage that's crazy so i will be focusing on skilling up my roid now make sure he's doing as much damage as possible all right on to the next one so we're coming back into this ayunu figure and lumei i'm gonna go ahead and bring in my other carcano my fast molly and fuki So I actually use this as a defense, it does fairly well and as an offense it's pretty solid as well. I change my molly for Fran sometimes, I just felt like molly would be better for this one in particular. So we're gonna try to get rid of that Lumei if possible and then we should be okay to get rid of that figure or that Ayunu. So we can get rid of that Lumei and it's a 3v2 looking really solid and we defense break that vigor. No defense break. And slowly work onto the Ayunu with the Molly, bringing him down a bit. I didn't want to touch the Ayunu because I didn't want him to kill my Carcano just in case playing very safe even though I don't think he would have killed my Carcano I just wanted to play very safe for the 10th win it's been a while since I went 10-0 and I want to make sure to do as much as I could the siege we were not really playing around with these other guilds they were doing really good so I want to make sure that I contribute as much as possible uh, I think le two legit secret only had like 12 members but they were doing Oh, they're doing very well for the only soul that they have. And then this is the last team up against this Ayunu, Vigor, and Lumei. I'm copying Ice's team, Galleon, Orion, and Kaki. So he really likes using this team. I just get sketched out that nothing's gonna land or if they're all on will. Luckily, they weren't on will. They land everything and our Kaki just like destroyed everything. This is my fatal Kaki. So it should be destroying just about everything. I'm actually surprised that that bigger didn't die. But we kill it off with the Galleon and we finish off Ayunu with the Kaki. So this is where we left off last night and these are the results for today. We actually won and here's my trophy box. Let's see if we get anything good. I always like to check the previous ones, see which ones I should probably hit. I'll go take the good box, the box that we always fight for. And let's see, can I get something nice out of this box? No, I just get some runes and a lot of mana. I powered this one up. I still haven't checked what the results on it are, but I might get rid of it anyways. So I'm going to share the contribution. I actually hit first for once. And here are my defenses. If you guys want to ever see anything about them, let me know. And I'll probably make a video on them. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.